Hello there. I'm deciding to uh, make a quick, well, some update video. Uh, as you are seeing, I went ballistic on this pick card. I've had a weird couple of days, uh, pretty heavy loss in my family. And so, as a way of coping, uh, I decided to <laughs> focus on this pick card. So, I have. And I was just getting ready to uh, do another step to it, and I figured I'd make a quick video to show off what I've done. So, um, I am currently, I, <clears throat> here, let's bring it over here, to the guitar itself, which I am now shielding. So, I put a ton of copper tape, um, whoops. Pardon me, yep. Yeah. There's some of that Blair Witch level cinematography. So I have this little poplar dowel, kind of rounded an end. I used it to mash into the corners, and it's probably the cleanest, uh, cleanest grounding job that I've done, at least this part of it so far. It's sweet because it's just a big gaping cavity. Uh, I generally went around the edges. This wire here goes to the thimble this thimble and then I have a hole here that feeds through to the trim cavity here so I plan on screwing a wire underneath one of those yeah I use flathead brass screws because it's fucking tone baby um, <clears throat> the other thing yeah so that will be a ground connection this will be a grounded connection that will connect to the pick guard, and this whole thing will just be a big shielded thing. Uh, another thing to show off and update. If I get that in the right light, you can see. Yeah, there you have it. That's made of brass with a flathead brass screw and a little bit of brass tubing. So I just made my own. I had had the one from the OG Ural on this thing, and I've really gotten used to it on there and I really just fucking loved it so got a piece of brass and cut it on the bandsaw and shaped it and sanded it and um I actually I had meant to finish it better than that I think I only just finished rubbing it with like 180 or something my fucking camera phone doesn't want to show there they are there's the grains so there's a bunch of grains in it um I'm thinking of, you can see how loose, like the guitar is tuned, but you can see this, which one, yeah, the G string, how it has some funny wrap around it. These were the 10 gauge strings that I originally put on the Strat, um, and then I played it for a while and then realized that I wanted to have a Strat with 9 gauge strings on it, so I got 9s and then couldn't throw these out. So then when I started getting going on this guitar, I was like, well, I have 10s. So now I've been like doing all this work with 10s on, which I'm realizing too is fucking dumb because I plan on having 9s on this thing. Because so I think that, I mean, that for me on a 25 and a half scale is comfortable. So uh, anyways, I have some 9s that should be arriving, at which point I will change and try to do the remainder of the work with a set of 9s on it. But um, I have a cover coming for this thing soon. I actually, oh, that's what I want to take a trip to Lowe's for. Um, this spring under there sucks. It's wicked stiff. Um, I at least just wanted to play with another, another spring and see if that helped. Um, uh, cause this piece of metal right here that the tremolo arm goes into is super soft itself. So with the spring putting up so much resistance, it tends to just to bend this way instead of bending this way. Um, so I was thinking if there was a little bit lighter of a spring in there. I don't know. Still got some pretty sweet brake angle going on here. It raised the action. It helped the neck a lot. Um, I didn't really do measuring. I just kind of went with it until it was okay and a bunch of the frets stopped buzzing the frets are being noisy um let's see what else i have all the shit over here so i mean i'm 
I'm basically like just yeah I'm very very close I, I just gonna put these um yeah I just drilled all of these holes here and I'm gonna do a little countersink on them because I got a pack of like actual fender screws so I want those to be like they're like inset with the slight pan head going on here's all the screws that I got for all of these switches incidentally none of them came with screws they just came as switches and uh, the only screws I could find that were four number four screws were these stainless steel flathead which is just fucking perfect to get flathead or slotted screws to go into this you know westernized soviet guitar there's still there's is eastern european elements going on but here's my pile of pickups um here is my wire a multimeter that i you know just have yeah here's my my potentiometers here's a bunch of uh <clears throat> a bunch of caps that are gonna go onto this bank of switches it's gonna be really interesting uh but yeah, so last step to cover all this white up with copper and then install all the crap onto this. And I have mentioned before, but I'd like to mention again, I didn't consider this originally and I'm just going with it. I know there are P90s that can be mounted to a pickup, uh, to like a, a, a pick guard rather. And the kind that I got mounts to the body. So that thing will be independent, whatever. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.